Hi second graders, my name is Shelby and I work at Partnership for Kids. Today I'm going to be reading If You Ever Want to Bring an Alligator to School, Don't by Elise Parsley. If your teacher tells you to bring something from nature for show and tell, she means a hollow stick or a bird's nest or some sparkly rocks. She does not want you to bring an alligator. If you bring an alligator anyway, she'll tell you that alligators are trouble. You'll tell her that it's okay and that you know all about alligators. This alligator will be quiet and good and he won't eat anyone. Cross your heart. But during spelling, your teacher will hear laughing. This is because the alligator will be showing you funny pictures. Your teacher will write your name on the board, and now you'll have to stand last in line for lunch. You'll take away the crayons and tell the alligator to be quiet and wait for show and tell. <clears throat> then during art, an airplane will fly across the room. This is because the alligator will be showing you origami. Your teacher will draw a check by your name, and now you'll have to stay in from recess. You'll take away the paper and order the alligator to be good and wait for show and tell. During math, you'll notice the alligator is hungry. You'll give the alligator three pieces of your favorite gum and beg him to not eat anyone and, for Pete's sake, to wait for show and tell. The good thing is that you'll stop him from eating any kids. The bad thing is that the alligator will smack and twirl the gum and your teacher will notice. She'll draw two more checks by your name and an underline. Now you'll have to go to the principal's office after school. During lunch, you won't even get to eat your egg and cheese sandwich because somebody will gobble up everything but the crusts. By now, of course, you'll wish you'd brought a hollow stick or a bird's nest or some sparkly rocks for show and tell instead of an alligator. By now, you'd rather have some dirt than an alligator. You wish this alligator would just go home. Well, here's what I would do if I were you. First, at show and tell, you'll sit quietly and learn all about hollow sticks and bird's nests and sparkly rocks. Then, it'll be your turn. You'll tell how alligators are super big, 12 feet tall, and how alligators are over 70, have over 74 super sharp teeth and how alligators are super tough. It's a fact. They're strong and they're tough and they aren't scared of anything except other alligators and humans. A booga 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 booga. Your teacher will be impressed. She might even not make you go to the principal's office for all the mischief that day. But then again, you might have to.
Yeah, if you ever want to bring an alligator to school, don't. They are trouble. So, what I would like you guys to do is to bring something appropriate for show and tell. That would mean do not bring an alligator or any kind of pets, but bring something that is special to you. And maybe just write a few sentences why you want to bring this item. Uh, if it's a toy, maybe someone special gave it to you, like someone in your family, and that's why it's important to you. Um, but write a few sentences about why you brought that item. And then when you get up to present, whether that be today or sometime later this week or next week, make sure that you bring what you wrote down so you can share why you brought it and why it's important to you. And that way everyone can learn more about you this way. Okay, thank you second graders. Have a great day.